before I mention that this morning Holy Spirit placed something on my heart to mention to the church I see a lot of people lose their faith in God over this issue where they are so focused not just on the destination that God wants to take them to but for God to use their directions toward their destination when you know God will provide for you but you want him to provide the way you think is the best you know God will give you a blessed marriage but you don't see blessed marriage without her if she doesn't like me back there is no way in this world I could have a blessed marriage if I don't have this way there is no way that I could reach this way and my message and encouragement to you this morning is this give God permission to get you to your destination without using your directions give God permission to get you where God promised to get you without using your directions there be like Naaman who came and says I expect God to come lay his hand on me but if he doesn't lay his hand on me but sends me to get dunked in the river seven times to get healed whatever it takes but I will be healed some people Jesus healed by spitting at them other people Jesus healed by speaking a word some people Jesus healed by stretching his hand some people Jesus healed by simply saying go wash yourself but the point is this don't expect God to use a certain way with you because I've lived long enough to know usually God looks at your directions and laughs at them and you say there is no way in the world God can bless me without this way that I already have figured out and I lined up. This guy is the one. This young lady is the one and there is no other people in the world God can make me happy through. If I don't get this I will never be happy with anything else. Don't ever stick yourself in that situation by limiting God to your ways. God's ways are higher than your ways there were leaders in our church that left our church and in my mind I thought there is no way our church can grow without these leaders <laughs> I've learned it the devil is a liar ain't that truth that's not the truth God can grow the church from anybody who he wants to grow the church from without me and even without you God can bless your life with that person rejecting you. God can still bless your life with you even losing maybe that particular job. God has a way of getting you to your destination without using your directions. Give him that permission today. Be free. Love the destination. Do not fall in love with your directions. Because many times we, we, we work everything out and we think if God doesn't follow it through, it will fail. God is a God of destination and destiny. But he likes to make fun of us sometimes by scratching our directions and still getting us to our destination and saying, I am God and trust me. Can somebody say amen?